Hello everybody and welcome to the NEC on the Classic Motor Show Weekend. Thanks for joining us. We continue with a bit of German techno. So, lights down, volume up. Let's do this, it's showtime. Here we are at the stand of the Split Screen Band Club. There it is then, that is the snail, a thing of beauty? Or is it a creation that you think is a Frankenstein? Let me know in the comments below. So, we'll have a quick look round and uh, come back to me on those comments. Let's have a look round then. This is the snail. Now, my question to you, is it a thing of beauty? Or do you feel it's a bit of a Frankenstein? I've got to be careful what I say because I actually like it, but I don't want to offend either. It's certainly a feat of engineering. It's a pre-67 VW, split screen of course, and it's fitted with a Monza caravan on the back. So I'm delighted with it actually, I like it. But in terms of facial beauty, maybe not for everybody. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Okay, let's move swiftly across. This is from 1954. It's a Type 1 Barn Door 2276 Super. And let's have a look around this. Belongs to Mark Payne. 2.276 litre. This is the 234 VW Combi. Right hand drive. So let's have a look around and... Um, I really have to admire it. The paint is just unbelievable. The whole finish. In fact, the VW guys you'll see with these uh, five vehicles on the stand have actually said, yep, we're going to take our best along to the show, but we're also going to take it up to the next level, which I believe they've achieved that because they have some of the most interesting vans here on the stand at the Split Screen Van Club. Uh, this is particularly interesting, Porsche fans. Your Fuch alloys, there you are with chrome wheel nuts, five on each wheel. Incredible. This is actually for sale if you've got pockets deep enough. But I'm sure there's a bargain to be had as well. I like this stand because it's all open. Everything says, come on in, have a look. Have a look at what we've got. Yeah, I told you it was for sale. Every one of these is somebody's pride and joy. But what they're saying is, come on in, have a look. It's open, it's free, come on, you're invited. Truly interesting again here, and look at that, look at that, incredible. Paint, just immaculate, and uh, some nice woodwork on this, actually. Um, really, really good and plenty of space there of course in between but between this and next door is how I imagine a VW to be it's just in your mind's eye this is what you imagine it to be oh, there's a wireless from way back when engineering of the highest order hope you're enjoying this if you are remember to subscribe and give us the thumbs up as well many thanks to you in advance there's more to see here at the Classic Motor Show. Check out the playlist, Tour of the Halls, also the Hillman, Avenger, Tiger. And let's take a look over here. Right hand drive, split screen, you can see that. And uh, paint once again, top drawer. And it's, yeah, more tea vicar. All set out, ready to go. Mm. arrive and drive. Let's have a look at um, oh, the snail and of course our VW Combi right hand drive RHD 5.4. This is amazing detail built on the 20th of September 1954 and left the factory on the 4th of October 1954. This is a 68.68 year old vehicle what's been achieved here is truly incredible it's they've arrived at the crusher 
and said, oh, hang on, mate, J just hold on just now. I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. And they've snatched it from the jaws of the crusher. <laughs> well done. Well, this is great. There's all these kinds of VW conversions, the Devon, the Auto Home, the Canterbury, to name but a few. But just have a look back there and see for yourself all these different uh, manufacturers, etc., that would do the exclusive creation on the VW. And as I say, all of these pre-1967, of course. So let's supply the brakes for now. And we'll catch you next time on SLR TV. Toot toot, peep peep, see ya.